Hi, welcome to my studio. Today, I think I'd like to talk about finding your muse or what motivates you to paint. Why do you want to paint? Well, you want to paint to be creative. It's the process. We like the process of painting. It's like a musician making music. That's why we want to paint. But what do we want to paint? That's the hard thing. So if you've been taking lessons or you've been in a, some kind of a plan where they're teaching you how to paint or you're taking classes with someone or instruction and they're telling you what to paint usually uh, to format and instruct. But what happens when you go to your studio? You know, when you're all alone and you're gonna work, nobody's telling you what to paint. Anything in the world of paint. You know, you got a blank canvas in front of you and in, in, in a way that's in, inspiring, but it's also intimidating. So finding your muse, that's, that's probably the number one thing if you're gonna be creative. You have to understand what you're making, why you're making it. Um, it doesn't have to be hard. It doesn't have to be complex. You don't have to do great paintings or have an idea of a great painting in your mind where you're going to do some historical uh, painting or some kind of a monumental landscape. It can be as simple as just paint. This painting behind me is an abstract, or actually the better term is non-representational because it doesn't represent anything. So when I decided to do this painting, my first thought was, how do I make paint interesting? What do I do to make paint more than just decorative, something stuck on the wall. I want my non-rep paintings to own the wall. I want them to be part of the wall. I want them to stand out and do this. So I'm just using the elements of paint, hopefully to make an interesting painting. You know, it's interesting to me whether it's interesting to other people. It's whether they take the time to invest to look at it or not. Um, most people don't enjoy non-representational painting because it doesn't immediately tell them something. But if you take and look at a painting like this, you actually see the nuances and the transitions, and hopefully, you know, it holds your eye, it holds your interest. So the muse in this painting, my muse was, how do I just deal with paint and make something interesting? If you're doing a landscape, well, obviously, you know, you want to do a landscape that has some elements of drama, sunsets. Um, ocean surf, you know, things that have a motivation for you to, to, to inspire you to paint this thing. You know, if you're driving down the road, you see this gorgeous sunset and you go, oh, I want to share that. Well, that's why you paint. So while we're on the subject matter or the motif of a painting, non-representational, representational, historical, allegorical, I mean, the painting is like humans. It runs the gamut of all our emotions and attitudes. You can do anything you want to do. It's, it's up to you. I paint representationally and I also paint non-representationally. The beautiful thing about painting non-representationally is it makes me more aware, more conscious of the actual brush strokes. Instead of actually hanging my brush strokes on an armature of trying to represent a tree or a rock, I'm actually thinking paint. And so it's very powerful in that respect it, it, to make me aware of paint. So the, the subject matter, that's entirely up to you. Don't pigeonhole yourself into, well, I paint still lifes, I paint landscapes, I paint portraits. You paint. You can paint anything you want. So that keep that wide open. That allows you to be at your creative best. So how did I do that? What, what was my muse? My muse was, if I'm using plastic elements, if I'm just using the, the, the areas of paint, uh, value, edges, um, color. But if you expect to step up to an easel with a blank canvas on your own and create a great painting and you don't have a line of thought, you don't have a motivation. You know, the actors say, what's my motivation? Well, it's the same thing in painting. If you don't have that motivation, how can you paint? You know, the creative process is wonderful, but you have to have a vehicle to carry it. Hopefully this will give you some insights. Um, I've got other things I'd like to talk about. Have a good day.